Healthy Lifestyle Habits At this critical juncture, we decided to start working from home, away from school and maintaining as much social space between ourselves and other people as we could. We are temporarily living a sedentary lifestyle because we are forced to remain at home and are only able to eat the items that have been in our refrigerator or pantry for a while. This increases the likelihood that we will engage in less physical activity, consume excessive amounts of food, sit for long periods, and experience heightened levels of tension, anxiety, and sadness. In particular, many of us will put on some weight as a result of the epidemic, and we may end up keeping that weight on permanently. This poses significant potential health hazards, including type 2 diabetes, hypertension, heart attack, stroke, and other conditions. In this section, I'd want to go over some fundamental pointers and tools that can help you keep your healthy lifestyle, body weight, and overall well, being in check even while you're socially isolating yourself and remaining at home. Number 8. Start your day with breakfast. There is a plethora of significance attached to it. It kickstarts your metabolism and prevents you from overeating in the subsequent hours. Additionally, Studies have shown that individuals who start their day with a nutritious breakfast perform better at work and that children who eat breakfast achieve higher scores on standardized tests. If you don't feel like eating a hearty breakfast right away, try something lighter, like a granola bar or a piece of fruit. Just don't skip it. Number 7. Plan your meals. In the long run, you will be able to save both time and money as a result of this. Set aside some time, and then, once you've finished, Sit down and think about your objectives and requirements. Do you wish to get rid of those extra pounds? Reduce your intake of sugar, fat, or carbohydrates. Add protein or vitamins? Preparing your meals in advance gives you more control. You are aware of what you will consume and when. A perk is that it will be much simpler to avoid eating the donuts that are kept in the break area at work. Number 6. Take multivitamin supplements. When you don't have access to a wide variety of fruits and veggies in your kitchen, it's a good idea to make sure you're getting enough of the nutrients your body needs by taking a multivitamin every day. This is especially important. Several different micronutrients, including vitamins A, B6, B12, C, D, and E, in addition to zinc, iron, copper, selenium, and magnesium, are essential to the function of your immune system. Adding vitamins, minerals, or so, called miracle supplements to your diet won't help protect you from the virus or speed up your recovery, according to the research that's been done so far. It's possible that taking excessive amounts of vitamins could be harmful to your health. Number 5. Get your exercise. Participating in regular physical activity is perhaps the closest thing we have to a fountain of youth. According to the National Cancer Institute, engaging in regular physical activity can assist in the management of one's weight, the preservation of healthy bones, muscles, and joints, and a reduction in the likelihood of developing high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, and diabetes. In addition, it is estimated that a lack of physical activity is responsible for around 260,000 deaths per year in the United States. A lot of people in the fitness industry recommend working out for half an hour, five or six days a week, and then allowing your body one day off to relax and recover. The activity doesn't need to be an Iron Man style ordeal for you to benefit from it. Even something as basic as going for a brisk walk for half an hour can do amazing things for your health and can add real years to your life expectancy. In addition to that, you can supplement it by climbing the stairs at work. Going for a brisk walk of 10 to 15 minutes during lunch, or keeping a compact pedaling gadget on your desk. The most important thing is to locate a form of physical activity that you take pleasure in doing rather than one that is challenging. Number 4. Commit yourself to eat healthily throughout the day. This pattern of behavior involves refraining from consuming sugary beverages and snacks while also increasing the amount of fruit and nuts in one's diet. The American Heart Association suggests eating a portion of fish at least once every other week as part of a meal. In addition to being an abundant source of protein, fatty fish such as mackerel, salmon, lake trout, herring, sardines, and albacore tuna include omega-3 fatty acids, which have been shown to lower the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Controlling your portions is quite important. If you want to increase your chances of reaching the age of 100, 
you should consume a diet that is high in fiber, vitamins, and minerals. However, you should limit the quantity of high-calorie meals that you eat, particularly those that are high in sugar and fat content. And make sure you chew your meal. Chewing each mouthful 20 to 30 times is recommended by many dietitians to break food down into its most digestible form. It takes your stomach around 20 minutes to signal to your brain that it's full. So chewing slowly can help you cut your calorie intake by roughly 10%, according to several studies that have been conducted on the topic. Number 3. Stay hydrated. Because water is required by every cell, tissue, and organ in our bodies, consuming the recommended daily amount of water is of the utmost importance. It is commonly believed that adults should drink 8 glasses of water each day, each containing 8 ounces of water. However, this number has never been supported by scientific research in the field of medicine. A better rule of thumb could be to aim to consume enough water such that you have to urinate once every two to four hours and that your urine is clear in color. There are a lot of different tools, such as smart bottles and a lot of different free apps, that are readily available to assist you to build and maintain this habit of staying well hydrated. Num 2. Don't overlook dental hygiene. How many people? after a long day, take the time to floss their teeth? According to the findings of several research, maintaining a routine of flossing can add more than six years to your life. Why? It is hypothesized that the bacteria that are responsible for the formation of dental plaque can make their way into circulation and are somehow involved in the inflammation that leads to blocked blood arteries and heart disease. You can add years to your life by making the practice of flossing your teeth before night a regular part of your routine. Number 1. Get your sleep. Sleep is necessary for our overall health. During the time that we are asleep, our brains are busy removing the waste products of the previous day's activities, as well as resetting and restoring the neural networks so that they will operate normally when we awake. We are all familiar with the most prevalent side effects that result from a lack of sleep, including tiredness, weariness, inability to concentrate, and forgetfulness. However, the negative effects of not getting enough sleep may extend beyond those that are commonly known, and they may have an effect on your brain that lasts for a potentially very long time. According to the findings of a recent study carried out in Italy, chronic sleep deprivation may prompt the brain to begin the process of killing itself. Simply put, the Italian researchers used mice in their experiments. Some of the mice were allowed to sleep as much as they wished, while other mice were forced to stay awake for long periods. After that, the researchers investigated the activities of the glial cells that serve as the caretakers of the brain. These cells remove unnecessary brain cell connectors, often known as brain junk, to ensure that the brain continues to operate normally. They discovered that the glial cells were much more active than the mice that were deprived of sleep, and it is probable that this hyper-sweeping and destructive activity may contribute to Alzheimer's disease and other conditions that affect the brain. If you liked this video, follow us and you will find many videos that will help you to transform your life. Thanks for watching all the video. Please subscribe and hit the bell. See you soon.